It is 8.17 this morning. Time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz and Mike from 105.1 The Buzz joining us live right now. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, we were just uh, we were just talking about our favorite uh, Reba Reba song. I thought you were just about <laughs> to throw me in on that. I thought she was the one singing. I was, was I was singing some Reba during the break because I, I loved her show growing up. But anyways, um, Reba McIntyre was was saved from a building this week. What happened to Reba? Yeah, so she was in a historic building in Atoka, Oklahoma, and they'd been doing some renovations. And while she was on the second floor, the staircase collapsed. And so they had to come and rescue her through the window with a ladder. Uh, there's a video that's been circulating on Twitter. You know, thankfully, she's not hurt. Nobody else was. But it's just proof that you probably shouldn't take the stairs, you know? <laughs> Get on that elevator. Well, I don't know if that building had an elevator, right? Is it, It's, like, really old, yeah? Yeah, it's old, but I just don't like the stairs. Well, that's fair. I know, I guess it's just, it sounds like nobody was actually on the stairs when they collapsed. That's like people good. People had walked right. on them, and then they heard this crash. I mean, that's just lucky nobody was hurt. I have so yeah. many questions about this. Like, why was she touring this building if it, it was potentially unsafe? Was it open? Was it closed? Is it a museum? And then for the firefighter who rescued Reba, if that was me, I would have been like, hey, uh, you know, my kid's turning eight. Could you come sing happy birthday at his birthday <laughs> party? I would have been asking for the world. Yeah. Can I can I get a little video with you real quick before I help you down this ladder here? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that has to be intimidating. You know, you're used to rescuing and saving people, but it, when it's Reba, you'll be like, oh, excuse me, can I get a trampoline down here? More yeah. people, do we have a soft landing This is going spot viral no case? matter how this goes. Yeah. So hopefully it goes well. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, I'm glad she's okay. Maybe she was joining the uh, the ranks of celebrities who are going to have like an HGTV renovation show yeah. or something, yeah. right? Maybe they were scouting wouldn't, stuff. Who wouldn't, knows? wouldn't surprise me. All yeah. right, another celebrity news. Ed Sheeran thinks American award ceremonies are uh, full of resentment and different from oh. British ones. Explain this. <laughs> Yeah, so he did this interview, and it's actually up on our Facebook, 105 Won the Buzz, and he said that when you go to an American award ceremony, be it the VMAs, the Grammys, the Emmys, the Oscars, it's a room full of people that resent you, and they want you to lose, and they want to win, and that it's just a very tense environment. But when you go to the award ceremonies in England, he said everybody's just having drinks, hanging out, nobody really cares who wins or loses. So I think that's a very American thing of us to be so competitive, that when you go to <laughs> an award ceremony you're just miserable the whole time <laughs> yeah. Gosh, that actually that's pretty an, true that's an interesting take on it you know you see everybody smiling on the red carpet but i guess but behind it's the all, smiles they're it's like, all oh, fake it's all I'm so and so the Let's difference be between honest, me and I, edge Go ahead, oh, sorry. Liz. Sorry, as I say, I would be gold on an award ceremony. I've never had a talent to win an award, but if I did, the thing where they show all the little pictures of the people that are nominated, uh -huh. when I didn't win, I would be the one that would be like, that's it, I'm done, this isn't fair. <laughs> like, I would not be able to maintain my composure and be all cool and calm like everyone else is and just say, oh, it's an honor to be nominated. Yeah, yeah, everyone always has their best little, like, face. Yeah. Oh, I'm well, so happy yeah. for you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and to Ed Sheeran, if he's so miserable at American award shows, why is he not getting drunk there? That's the first thing I would do if I was miserable. <laughs> That's not, right. not a bad point. You know what would make this more like a British award show? Drinks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a couple extra pints. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Well, thanks, you guys. Always bringing us the latest scoop. Yeah, have a great day. Thank you. you. Too. Again, you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz. All right, it's 821 right now, and oh, bother, coming up, how you can get a taste of nostalgia with a new Airbnb listing. Interesting. At 830, we're going to head to the 100-acre